In today's video, I'm going to be discussing my outlook on the S&P 500 for the next 12 months. I have been doing my fundamental analysis and I've also been having a look at my charts, having a look at the average performance for a couple of years and then also the 140 year average to see what I can expect over the next 12 months in the market and to help you guys if you're going to be trading the S&P 500 as well. So let's dive straight into the actual analysis. Um, as you can see on the charts right now, I have three years of candles on the chart projected forwards. So the latest candle is obviously today, which is the first um, of January 2022. And then I've taken 2021, 2020 and 2016 as they give me a broad range of um, returns per year. And actually 2016 is slap bang in the middle of two averages that I'm going to be talking about as well, which is the 10 year average and the 140 year average. The first one, 2021 has been a big year for the markets, hitting a 26.9% return over the last 12 months. And you compare that to 2016, with a 12% return, it's more than double. So 2021 has been a big year for the markets. Um, I'm hoping that continues. Now, obviously, it there's no way of knowing what is going to happen, but the fundamental analysis that I have done is indicating that it is going to be a strong year. Now, in terms of the start of the year, I'm not 100% sure in terms of my fundamentals. Um, but towards the later end of next year, or well, this year now, um, I'm expecting it to be a strong year again. So as you can see, there is sort of a pattern when it comes to the charts. Um, if we have a look at 2021 and 2016, you can see just this little bit here where they pretty much match identically. So we have a little push down, then a push up, push down, push up. And then that's where it kind of breaks off and goes on to its own thing. 2021 kept going and 26, 20, um, 2020, sorry, not 2016, we had the crash. Now that is due to um, obviously COVID, um, but the markets did the same thing up until about March time, middle of, middle of Feb, March time. Um, 2016 of the opposite, we went down, up down and then it kind of trended up um, but in terms of the start of the year that was something that I kind of I did not expect to see um, 2021 and 2020 having the same start to the year now that could still continue obviously this is going to be staying on my charts so I'll be sending in kind of updates for you guys um, every other video um, or hopefully every other video. I'm not sure if it's going to be um, this style of video where I'm just doing, you know, the the chart work. Um, I might be doing some some I might be doing some tutorials or whatever. But essentially, I'll be keeping you updated with um, what the year is going to be like. So, the start of the year, we could be expecting the same thing to happen. Afterwards, it could really go anywhere, right? But there are some key things to notice throughout the whole of the year. Here is typically is typically a downward slash um, consolidation time of the year. I think this is around September, um, September, October. Um, I think is the uh, time of the year where historically we will see a dip or consolidation in the markets. So that is quite normal to see. Um, and we typically actually see a dip in this area as well. So um, I'm not going to be trading the markets just yet. I'm going to be waiting. Probably around Feb is when I'll be looking at the markets. So around here um, onwards. And then I'll be looking to get into some heavier positions around March time. So right now we're just watching. We're just seeing what's going to happen building up some technical analysis, building up some fundamental analysis to back what we're going to be seeing in the markets over the next one to two months. Um, and then we'll start to say, okay, this is where we could be expecting the markets to go. Do we expect a further push down or do we expect a push up like in 2021? Um, personally, 
I believe that there is going to be a correction. I'm not sure where to, but I think that there will be a correction of some kind. Now, in terms of the actual correction, I don't think it's going to be big. It could be big. Obviously, I'm not sure, but I do think that it's going to be around 4,500, so around here, um, that we could see a dip into. So looking back from 2020, 2016, and 2021, that is quite a big dip to start start the year off. Um, but because 2021 has been such a big year, and it's been such a consistent uptrend, I do think that we could have a move like this, where we get, you know, um, how, what's that from? 5.7 uh, to 5.4. That could be a similar thing here, where we kind of break these lows maybe and then, and then see a move higher. So that's what I'm expecting to see uh, for the S&P 500. Um, I would like to be, you know, 2021 performance again with a 26% return. That would be very, very nice. But at the end of the day, 12% is still good. We are kind of moving higher in terms of the 10-year average. Um, if we have a look at the 140-year average, so that's basically saying every 10 years over the past 140 years, we have averaged a 9.2% return. If we have a look at the 10-year average, you can see that's 13.6, which means over the last 140 years, it's been a very consistent, you know, it's been a very consistent gain on the markets, whereas now it is really starting to push higher and we're seeing bigger moves. Now, that is mainly because of a few stocks and it's mainly due to um, six stocks, um, which is Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, Google, and the last one is Microsoft. Um, you can have a look into those a little bit more. They have been a massive drive in the S&P 500 this year, moving as it has. And I think if these stocks continue to move as they are, um, maybe there could even be a Tesla in there. Don't know. Um, but anyway, these stocks are the ones that are driving the S&P 500 higher with the the amount of gains that we are seeing and especially that is leading into that 10-year average um if facebook i think facebook's going to be a massive thing this year um with the metaverse and the things that they're doing um, i can see apple being a big one as well with their cars um and really i can see 2022 being another year where we outperform the 10-year average of 13.6 percent now I don't know how higher this is going to be. I think it's going to be in between 2020 and 2021. Um, I think we could be sitting around, I don't know, 19, 20% this year. That is a random guess, obviously. Um, there's no way I, I would know where that's going to sit. But based on what I've seen with Facebook and Apple, I can't see why we wouldn't have another explosive year. Now, Obviously, there's things that come into play that I don't know of. Something could happen in 2022 that could completely change the outlook of the market. But going on what I've seen, going on, on what has happened in the past, I don't see why we can't beat a 10-year average of 13.6%. Um, now, I will be keeping you updated with this. Obviously, if you want some more in-depth reasons as to why I'm seeing this and ask any questions and, and all that kind of stuff, we hop onto calls, uh, hit the join button below and I will get you into that private Discord community where I will be sharing some of the trades that I'm taking and my outlook in terms of a fundamental and technical. Obviously, this is mostly technical with a little bit of fundamental um, and a little bit of seasonality, but um, I hope you've enjoyed this style of video. If you want to see more like this, let me know down in the comments below and I will try to create some more videos exactly like this one. I hope you had an amazing 2020, happy new year, and let me know down in the comments below if you have some goals already for 2022. I really do want to see what you guys are pushing for this year. I hope you have an amazing day, and I will see you in the next video.